Okay, so we're going to over binomial distribution, um, which is this formula here. And it's going to help us calculate um, your chances of winning prizes in a form of a lottery. So uh, let's say it's even Tim Hortons or some coffee place. You have a 20% chance of winning when you roll up the rim for something, okay? Um, and let's say you're going to play this game uh, 10 times, right? So we go about, we buy 10 cups of coffee, we win 10 times. We want to know what our probability, so this is our probability, of winning at least 7 times, okay? So this is actually very important because at least 7 wins gives us many different options. This formula will help, help us calculate for one specific one. So, for instance, if we're trying to figure out what's our probability of winning 7 out of 10 times, okay, we'll do that as the very first one. Now, our n here, in this case, because we're going to play the game 10 times, n will be 10, okay? x stands for our number of successes, okay? Number of success. Well, in this case, we're talking about 7, so x will be our... 7 in this case. And the rest of the things we just kind of fill into our formula. Oh, sorry. We also got to figure out probability. Our probability of success, that's what P stands for. So P is probability of success. And in this case, that's 20%. And Q is actually probability of failure. Okay? Uh, probability of failure which is essentially 1 subtract p. So if p is 20% or 0 0.2, what is our probability of failure in this case? Uh, 0 0.8. Yeah, exactly. We just subtract it from 1. Good. So let's put this into our formula here. The probability of this event um, is such that uh, we have 10 trials, right? So it's a 10 combination. We want to win seven times, multiplied by our probability of success, which in this case is 0 0.2, and we will expect to have seven successes, multiplied by the probability of failure, and we expect to have how many failures? Well, what that means is 10 subtract 7, which would be what? Yeah, so we could rewrite this as really just saying expected to have... Um, three failures in this case, okay? So it's the exact same formula. So I'll write it all out in one step here. So do you want to calculate that combination for us? 10 C7, 0 0.2 to the seventh times 0 0.8 to the fifth. It's going to be 120. The combination is 120, okay? Mm -hmm. 8 to the power of 7 is 0 0.0000128. 8. And then probability of failure. 0.512. Great. And then all we have to do is multiply all these numbers together. One, what was it? Two five? Yeah. Two oh, two eight, I think, sorry. Oops. Two eight. I had a big decimal. It did? Okay, so let's, let's do this all in one shot. Another way you could rewrite this is 0.2 is the same as 2 divided by 10, right? To the power of 7 multiplied by, and I'll put in brackets, 8 divided by 10, okay? To the power of 3. Oh, shoot, I did that in the wrong order. Okay, let's just do it this way. 0.2 to the power of 7 times bracket 0.8 to the power of 3 and bracket equals and then times 120 is that what you got three decimal places and seven yeah zero zero seven three two was it uh, zero 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 seven eight six that little thing is that what you got okay so three zeros good yeah you're right three zeros okay so extremely small number. In, in fact, as a percentage, it's actually 0.07%, right? Not even close to 1% of chance winning. Now, that's only of winning 7 out of 10 times. This says at least 7 out of 10 times, which means we're going to have to take these probabilities. So here's one of our answers. And we're going to actually have to add it to the probability of winning 
8 times, which we'll have to recalculate. And I'll quickly write the formula. So here's 8 wins, which is going to be 10 C8, 0 0.2 to the 8th, 0 0.8 to the 2, okay? plus the probability of winning 9 times. Okay? And it's really rare to win 9 times because you only have a 20% chance. That's why these decimals are so small. Like, if you only have a 20% chance, to win seven times is huge. You should really only be winning maybe two out of the ten times. So to win seven is a very small decimal. To win eight will be even smaller. To win nine, same idea. We have ten trials, nine successes. Our probability of winning is 0.2 with nine successes times 0 0.8 with one success. And finally, the idea of ten wins. So winning every single time, what's our probability? It will be extremely rare. It will be ten C10, 0 0.2 to the power of 10, and 0 0.8 to the 0. So we have to add all of these probabilities together. Um, now, with a good calculator, we can do this all in one shot. I'm going to do the 8 here. So 10 combination 8 times 0 0.2 to the power of 8 times 0 0.8 to the power of 2. So we got a very small decimal again, 0 0.12342828. And if we look at it, it's actually really similar to our last one. We've just increased by one decimal place. Okay, let's try the next one. 10 combination 9, and no, you can't see it on here, times 0.2 to the power of 9 times 0.8. Okay, this one's even smaller, 0 0.1254. And then finally, the last one, uh, 10C10, I believe, is 1. Yeah, so really, and 0 0.8 to the power of 0 is 1. So this is 1 times 0 0.2 to the power of 10 times 1 again. So 0 0.2 to the power of 10, extremely small decimal. So, 3, 4, 5, 6. We need to, all of the ones that we're just highlighting here, all of these values, I hope I typed that other one right. Oh, shoot, I didn't even, oh, no, I did write it down. All of the values we've highlighted, we have to add them all together. Okay, so I can try that on here. Let's assume we've done this right. So that was our first one, plus point, and there's four zeros, one, two, three, four, seven, three, two, eight, plus point, how many zeros? One, two, three, four, five zeros, four, five, Plus, and we have one, two, six. That number is not even going to really matter. One and two. All it really did was look at a 0.08% chance. So, in the end, you have a, the zeros were what, four zeros and then an eight, right? So it was approximately 0 0.8. So you have a 0.08% chance of winning seven or more times in this lotto, which makes sense. It's really rare. You only have a 20% chance of actually winning in this case.